Hola, buenas tardes, and welcome back to Mexico. Can you guess where I am? Yeah, I think it's pretty obvious. Puerto Vallarta, yes. First thing I want to apologize, I have been monumentally sick for the last three weeks. Just to point out, this is nothing to do with Mexican food. I have an iron stomach when it comes to tacos now. Basically, it was a bad fever. And finally today, I feel well enough to come out and have a look around this blue sky, sea, gorgeous area. I want to point out a few things in this video because you might be expecting me to say that I absolutely hate this place. I'm going to talk about my opinion of this place as we go along in this video. But first, let's have a look around. translated to boardwalk you might remember that word from when I was in Havana in Cuba and yeah this place this oh f so today I'm on the Malacon which is roughly traded <laughs> and I'm gonna say something you know is Puerto Vallarta my favorite place in Mexico do I love Puerto Vallarta no and no however I don't hate it, I don't dislike it. One of the things that has developed in me is I have become more accepting of tourist areas because you know I go to cities, I go to Pueblo Mexicos, I go to a lot of places that a tourist wouldn't necessarily go to, but I'm, I think, more appreciative of that tourist aspect because not everyone can do what I'm doing right now in terms of traveling full-time, long-term. I think because of that fact that I recognize that a lot more now, I don't get angry and, you know, about tourists yeah there's a little bit of that but you know it's not as bad as it was I don't particularly like tourist places but I appreciate that if you're particularly an American coming to Mexico you're going away for a holiday this is an ideal location you've got alcohol you've got Mexican food Tex-Mex food as well you've got beaches what more do you want right the food along the Malacón is understandably expensive okay which is you know it's no surprise because businesses are capitalizing on the tourism and to be honest with you from my experience does that expense translate into exceptional <coughs> taste etc not really and you know if for someone that's been in Mexico for a while like me you'll want 15 peso tacos which is exactly where we're going now right it wouldn't be my final week in Mexico without a trip to that place piñatas tacos I'm so hungry <laughs> let's go we're eating and I gotta have my favourite thing, literally, in the entire, everywhere in Mexico. Piñatas tacos. Let's go. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, it doesn't take me long to look at the menu. I know what I'm having. Chorizo, 15 pesos. Bingo. That's for today. We're going to dos tacos con chorizo, por favor. Um, sin cebolla. Um, Cilantro, no problema. Okay, that's okay. Yes. okay, this place is really cool. It reminds me of like somewhere in Mexico City where you can just get cheap tacos. You've got all this um, artwork for sale around the walls, which is cool. You've got all these um, over there. You've got these like tequila um, bottles in all different shapes, like guns and skulls. Dia de Muertos. Remember, this is Jalisco, so it's the home of tequila and um, beer for a dollar. 
So if you are on the cheap like me and you're looking for a quick drink and some tacos, come here. It's awesome. And my tacos are here with salsa, of course. And you're going to be proud of me because look what I'm doing. Salsa goes inside the taco, not on the top. If you remember from my video in Talakipaki where I put it on the top, there was chaos when I did that. I've got to say, this food is literally my favourite. Um, comidas favoritos in Mexico, it's amazing. The chorizo is something else. It's nothing like, you know, what you get in a supermarket. Oh, look at the tacos. Beautiful. I've got to say, apparently cilantro and coriander. And I'm amazed by the amount of people that don't like coriander. It's amazing. It's one of my favourite things. This is epic. Well, that was immense. And you notice that I'm not prattling on about food for 10 minutes. I'm just eating it short and sharp, bish bash bosh, chuck it down my gob and out of there. Because, you know, I know nothing about food, let's face it. If it's got meat, if it's got bread, if it's got cheese and it's a bit spicy, happy days is all I care about. And that's, let's face it, that's all you want to know as well. Is it good? Is it nice? Yes, it was. Anyway, I've come to this like square now and there's a church up there. I'm excited because you know how I feel about Mexican churches and cathedrals. Let's go and have a look. Right now, I'm doing that TV program, Instagram Super Zoom. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean. Oh, this church looks pretty. Bricks, bell, clock up the top, and the top bit looks interesting. Wonderful. Crosses, lovely. And it looks spectacular inside. Let's go and have a look. Our Lady of Guadalupe. I'm walking this way because it's the only way that there's good lighting. If you want to watch a channel that lies to the audience and is totally fake, this isn't the one for you, because I'm going to be honest. That place wasn't all that. In comparison to other churches and cathedrals I've been before, this one wasn't particularly grand or exquisite. Um, maybe I'm being a snob, a church and cathedral snob. Do I care? No. But still, if you're in Mexico for a short time and you want to see what a Mexican church looks like, that's your one. On another note, completely unrelated subject, I'm feeling a bit bonkers at the moment. Um, largely because I've been locked in a room for three weeks, coughing my left lung up. Possibly my right lung. But the point is, shit happens, especially when traveling. Believe me, I know. But you still gotta be positive about it. There's no point being negative and moaning, which I'm doing right now. Irony. Right, I've just come up a bit further, closer to Los Muertos Pier, which is, by the way, where you can get a lot of boats to different places like Yalapa. And slap me around the face and call me Jose. Um, there's a place there, 300 pesos for a burger just to highlight the difference in prices if you come closer to the beach. And I was having an interesting conversation with the guy back there offering to get me a Mexican boyfriend and some crack. No thanks, hon. If I wanted a Mexican boyfriend, I could get him myself. Speaking of Mexican boyfriends, I've walked into an area where there's a lot of old men looking at my penis. This means that I'm in the gay area, yes, Vallarta is very popular in terms of an area for gay men in particular. I used to be one of them, I'm not anymore. So I will not be exploring that uh, lifestyle in Vallarta. I'm by the pier, let's go have a look. I've walked back to near where I'm staying now, near the beach. And you know what, I was gonna to go to Zona Ram Romantica, which I decided to put in another video now. And it's getting windier, let's get away from the wind. Um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed having a little look around the Malacon area. 
Um, let me know what you think of Puerto Vallarta in the comments. Um, you know, I would love to hear your opinions. Are they like mine? Do you love this place or do you hate it? It's a bit like Marmite. Never mind. So thanks for watching and um, see you in the next video. Catch you later.